I always wanted to be a scientist. I remember crying all the way home. You needed to be good, and then they just said, oh, well, you're a woman. She ran into the old boys' network, and I think it destroyed her career. Dag am a university lecturer in zoology and an expert on the giraffe. Panel, these young ladies all claim to be Anne Dag. It takes an explorer's heart to go and study animals in Africa in the 1950s as a single woman. This was a different world then. There wasn't the infrastructure, there were no mobile phones, there was nothing. No one had ever really studied a, an African animal in the wild, or pretty well any animal in the wild. So um, I was sort of breaking ground without realizing it. From the very first day I saw a giraffe, incredible. Each day I'd write down exactly what I did that day. Nine, fifteen, two. When she got back jobs that she, in some ways, may have been overqualified for, she was not getting. To be a professor, I had to get a tenure. It was a very critical and judgmental process. You're playing with people's futures. I was the little girl that that woman was a hero for. Anne's book was the only book that you could find. It's just the Bible to giraffe, really. You're working on giraffes. She was the pioneer. She was essential reading. She felt that she was forgotten, and she founded the study of giraffe biology. We didn't know her. It was really important to me that we'd be able to find her. Will Maria and Dad please stand up? <laughs> I never really thought about it, that me being a woman, and they thought about it all the time, I think. <laughs> but you never let it stop you? Oh, no. Well, because I, I was thinking I was a person. 